This channel is not intended to turn into what it's become. It's like an anxiety ridden and it's destroying lives and you're thinking about 842 things and at work things and your videos are 20 minutes long and then oh I'm not even going to tell you what I just So I was I was watching I was caught up on the videos but I just wanted to take you know a brief look at some of them and I was taking some notes and I was like oh I need to go to the bathroom And so I was like, oh, because I still have to go upstairs to the downstairs toilet not functioning. And so I was like, oh, I'll do a couple things. I have some groceries to take upstairs and not food items because that's crazy. There's not a refrigerator up there. But so <clears throat> I was like, oh, okay, nope, I really have to go to the bathroom. I better hurry this up, but I got to stop and get my shoes. I better stop and get my shoes first. So then I stopped on these extra errands on my way up the stairs, and then I ended up pooping on the floor. I pooped on the floor again, which is better than in my pants, which sometimes happens. And what's even worse is that it sometimes happens when I am in a off-site location for work. And then I have to strategically sneak out it's usually just my underwear in a separate bag and make it to the dumpster like in Mission Impossible style and pretend like nothing ever happened. That's my confession of the day. Um, speaking of like anxiety ridden, and I was not anxiety ridden at all. I was just taking down a couple notes. Not anxiety ridden. But I do have a little bit of IBS syndrome. Yeah, so that just happened. Yeah, and here I'm, like, the cats don't even poop on the floor. And I poop on the floor. I should make them clean it up. I already cleaned it up. Um, so anyhow, yes, 842 fucks with your life. And you end up pooping on the floor. It destroys life forms when you have shit to do and you know you should be doing it. Um, and in destroying life forms, it's similar to the black smoke since Lindsay can't let go of Lost. I, I really like her enthusiasm for that show. And what, I don't know if she has all of the seasons of Lost. Lindsay, do you have all the seasons? Because if you don't, I think we're going to go ahead and rob some Salvation Army money, and then we're going to steal one of the Red Kettles and buy them all for you. I have most. I do not have the last season anymore. But... um. I have been, since this whole Lost discussion, just randomly picking episodes from different seasons. That'll really fuck with your head. So if you do have the seasons, that's what you should do. Um, I'm going to really try and keep this short and not poop on the floor again. So yes, I was slightly drunk when I texted the ex-boyfriend about the foot surgery. And he never responded, which is fine. It's totally fine. I think I'm also just not drunk going to send him a random text. I'm going to not stick things up my butt anymore. Only because I'm upset about the poop. Whatever. Um, foot surgery. I, several years back, actually it has been several years now, um, was at a concert, an outdoor concert, and for Toad the Wet Sprocket, as a matter of fact. And... I fell on the grass and what I thought at the time just sprained my foot and I never went to the doctor initially and then I had to I was on call that following like the following next few days and I was setting up like massive res revision surgeries which is a lot of heavy lifting and just dragging my foot behind me I was like wow this kind of hurts kind of hurts. So then, I mean, keeping in mind, I work in orthopedics, podiatrists, and also at the time we had braces and um, sports medicine. 
equipment. So I was sent home with the Iceman. It was a special wrap that you hooked to a cooler and it had continuous flow of ice. And every time I'd have that on, then it was fine. But then the second I'd take it off, it would... So I went, blah, blah, finally got x-rays. They're like, oh, yeah, your foot is definitely broken. Strapped me in a boot, and I was in the boot for, like, six months or something like that. I never had surgery at that point. But I got sick of the boot, and I got sick of going to the appointments. So I essentially discharged myself and never went back. And my foot never... I mean, there's, I can't do it because I have to hold my phone. Like a bone still jutting out of the side of my foot because I never let it heal properly. Which, then anytime I have any problems, like if I do kind of twist my foot or anything and I go get an x-ray, they're like, you just need to get that fixed, okay? It needs to be rebroken and refixed. Um, and like surgically operated on. Otherwise, when I get older, it's going to be massive pain and I probably won't be able to walk. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of, I think, because I'm not on an... I'm only a... Um, I'm a bowler. I don't know if Lindsay knew that. I'm not on an actual team this year. I'm just a sub. The only thing is, I'm signed up for Mom with State, who they've been really excited about this. I was like, it would really screw that up. Our... Nick and I's Angie sister initially wanted me to uh, do nationals with her this year, but then... Her son or something is having a kidney transplant or out, so she's going to stay around for that instead of going bowling. It's oh, crazy. Um, okay, and I actually, in my notes, I put, the foot surgery is because of old balls. That's who I was dating at the time. <clears throat> I was 28, he was 45, and an alcoholic and abusive. Not super physically abusive, definitely mentally. Um, and so when you were talking about, Lindsay, the dude with the naked pictures and the cocktails and the creepiness, oh, my God. Oh, God. It just, oh, disgusted me in so many ways. And just stop it. Don't go to any more shoots. That's all I can say. I mean, I do want to still see the pictures like a sycophant. But just quit going there. It's gross. Um, yeah, in regards to Nick mentioning that I can fight my own battles, Old Balls ended up getting served with a protection order at his place of employment, which is for the U.S. government. So, you know, that kind of worked out. And in regards to fighting the contractor battle, yeah, I turned him into the uh, Better Business Bureau. Even though I'm fairly certain that he has never, like, been registered with them. Yeah, that's what he gets. Not for his comments, necessarily. For his shitty workmanship and <clears throat> how unprofessional he was about the entire ordeal. So, yeah. That's what I decided to do, little brother. Oh, and speaking of little brothers, I think it's funny that Lindsay said that Nick's like the older brother she never had. And he's kind of the same to me, even though he's younger than me, but not by much. He's like an older brother. That's why I like expect him to stick up for me, which he did when we were younger to some extent, but yeah. So anyhow, I'm, I'm really going to like try and talk fast. So the poop thing went on way too long. At first, I did not look at Nick's notes from his last post about how groggy Rachel lifted her head to ask why Nick or Lindsay hated Nick so much. And I actually thought that was hilarious. <laughs> And then in discussion of the whole how I cut my post off about you know, Nick being a selfish asshole, which I you know, have told him to his face. But in that particular post, it was that I realized that that had just come out of my mouth 
and I thought it was rude. So I wanted to end the post. And then I followed it up with a not rude post, but that one lasted 20 minutes, or no, 17, and my phone wouldn't take it, and there's a reason that my phone won't take posts longer than that. Keep it under 15, otherwise it's not so stressful, not, not as stressful. Um, yeah, crazy. Is it crazy that I was just discussing defecation on my floor? On a public forum. Nick throws out crazy frequently. The fact that a random fuckhead stranger who did shoddy work on my house called me crazy is a whole nother story. And Lindsay should take, like, I don't know, not stocking it, but he always tells me that I am the basis to judge other crazy people. Like, that because I'm not medicated or anything like that, and some of my actions aren't necessarily normal, but I still somewhat function in society like a normal person. So, when he's, he uses crazy loosely, but at least you're not the one that he gauges against the truly crazy people. So, let's see, I think, yes, Nick, I would like to give you...